What's up guys? <laughs> we're out here in France, Port Barcares. Never been here before. Hopefully we're gonna get a little warm-up session this afternoon just to feel the conditions as I've never ridden here before. And uh, yeah, tomorrow or the next day they'll be starting with the men. So uh, yeah, pretty intense. I reckon I'm gonna go out on a seven or a six because it's already absolutely pumping. And hopefully I don't end up in the cable park down there. warm-up session I went out on the six and yeah just sand was blowing all over the place the conditions looked super hectic 10 knots suddenly 50 knots so it was a bit scary at the beginning and then I did a few loops kind of adjusted to the conditions gained some confidence and ended up having a good session so yeah feeling confident for the weekend Good morning guys, it's competition day. It's about 7 or 8 a.m. It's absolutely freezing. They're gonna start off with the men. So we're about to get all the gear prepared. All the boys are setting up, warming up, and ready for a full day of action. Scared, excited, happy. I don't know, it's a very mix of emotions at the moment. Ah, uh, the spot is incredible, it's freaking dusty. Perfect for double loop, so yeah, it's gonna be a double loop competition, you know? Everyone on sixes, fives. Feeling good, man, feeling ready. It's, uh, it's a bit cold, but uh, wind is pumping. I'm just crazy excited. This spot is always like a special place for me. It's where my best tricks somehow come together. I don't know why, but I'm really excited for this one, really excited. <laughs> Not really sure yet, but probably six or seven. It's gonna get crazy. Up against Clement Hurt and Julian Huyn. Two French riders. Wind is picking up quickly, so I don't really know what size to take. I reckon I'm gonna take an eight. Cancel everything you're doing on a Sunday. This is the place to be at the Lords of Tram. It's the GKA Big Air Kite World Cup in France and you're watching live. There we go. Big multiple rotations in the back row. Little border. How did you find it? It was good, man. The wind was actually really light and it's kind of coming through now, so it's 
there's like little gusts of wind and you had to pick the right gusts but at the end I managed to get a couple good ones in had a pretty hard crash as well but uh, yeah overall good warm-up piece hopefully the wind picks up in the next ones let's keep it going Alright guys, second heat of the day, up against Jason van der Spray from South Africa. Gonna give it everything and uh, yeah, let's get it. It was good man, it was a little bit light on the six, but I think doubles are definitely scoring more than single tricks, single tricks especially if you uh, don't go super high on the normal ones. So I think I made the right choice and I think I, I, think I made it through, let's, let's wait for the results. coming up then is Edgar Ulrich from France he's really finding uh, his rhythm and he's finding his form here in the south of France and he's up against none other than Liam Whaley from Spain pretty good man like he's uh, he's definitely a tough competitor so every time I go up against him I have to give it a hundred percent there's no no relaxing from now on but yeah man I'm uh, not putting too much pressure on myself for a change this event and it feels quite nice so I'm just gonna go out there have fun and may the best man win and we are here in heat number two of round four of the men's division of the big air discipline of the GTA kite world tour here in Barcarest France That was crazy, the wind was so gusty, um, I started off on my 8 meter, did a handle pass at the start because the wind was so light, then uh, did a massive loop laid back with the board off, then crashed twice, changed up to my 6 meter, and then uh, yeah, it was like uh, super challenging, did a couple double loops and then I needed a good score on the last one, 
got a good gust, the kite looped underneath me and I think I got it by just like zero point something so stoked, stoked to make it into the next round. Again. <laughs> what getting, not again! Not again! No. You're getting closer and closer. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's like a zero point. Fuck, I really thought that time would be the good one, but ah la la. But I'm gonna retire before you get this. <laughs> Alright guys, into the semi-final. I think I'm up against Jamie Overby. The wind is pumping, it just picked up a bunch. You're gonna go full 10. Let's get it. Woo. First, we will go to the semis for the men, where we see Liam Whaley taking on Jamie Overbeck. on that one I think I got pretty lucky with the wind it kind of kicked in and I was super powered on the six for some of the attempts did a couple tricks I've never done before so into the winners final so stoked gonna give it everything let's fucking go who are you against in the final I uh, have Liam again fuck yes yeah. <laughs> what are you gonna do the special I don't know let's see how, how the wind will be because it's like uh, every five minutes the wind change uh, in my last hit was like 20 knots, 25. Now it's again uh, 40 knots, 35. So let's see, maybe with the six, or I will start with the eight and then six. Let's see. <laughs> Legend. This is the day you get it. This is the fucking day you get up there and achieve it. You got it. How are you feeling? I'm feeling good, man. Honestly, more relaxed than ever. Not really putting pressure on myself. Just gonna go out there and have fun. And Hopefully same a couple good tricks. Andre Principi up against Liam Whaley here at the Lords of Tram 2023 for the last heat of the day. The GKA Big Air Kite Surf World Cup. to go down was gonna be sick it's Liam versus Andrea it's gonna be epic
What a day. I mean, it's my first time here in Barcares and the conditions were definitely challenging, but what an awesome spot. Thank you everyone so much for the support. You guys are unreal. I really felt your energy in the air and on the beach, so yeah. So stoked with this first place. Going to keep on training hard and hopefully see some of you guys in Tarifa for the second stop. Let's go. Merci. <laughs>